Welcome to Austin, Texas, one of our favorite stops on the tour. And today, Daryl K. Royal Stadium is packed and revved up, ready to make noise for the Texas Longhorns. Today, we have two of college football's elite colliding in a top five game. Both teams hungry to make a statement here, as we'll see the number one team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the third-ranked team, the Texas Longhorns. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, here in the booth with Kirk Herbstreit. I think we've talked long enough, Kirk. Let's get this game going. Longhorns will kick it away to start us off. Looks like the returner will try and field this one. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. The Bulldogs offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. And there comes the star running back onto the field. He is a special talent. You talk to opponents, he's always the focal point when they face this offense. Boy, Chris, this guy is special. It's almost like he floats across the field. I mean, I don't think anyone can take him down in the open field. He's the guy that teams try to key on, but sometimes it feels as though no one can contain him. Really good route here by the receiver, but I love the quarterback's ability to look off that safety and make that throw, and that's part of the quarterback's job here when you play in Athens for this Georgia offense. They've had some great quarterbacks over the years. Guys like Matthew Stafford and Aaron Murray and more recently Jake Fromm and, of course, Stetson Bennett, who won back-to-back -back national championships, and what they're seeing today from this quarterback, they got to be very proud of. Listen to the crowd energy here in the early going. This is a tough, tough environment for visitors. Keeping it on the ground here. The junior able to bring him down quickly. Third down play for this offense. Back to throw. It's back. There's no one to throw to there on third down. And now it's a fourth down coming up. Gosh, Chris, I just love this atmosphere. The home field advantage on full display. The defense flying around with energy. Nice job there on that third down of using the energy from the crowd to make that stop. The Dogs will send the punt team onto the field. Looking to flip the field here. With the return, it's Bolden. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. So Texas's offense comes out for their first possession today. If there's one guy in this defensive side, Kirk, who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher, very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. Well, that's a great play all around by this defense. Your first level defenders hold their own at the point of attack, allowing the second and third level players to roam free and make the tackle close to the line of scrimmage. He'll hand it off. And the defense smothers him for no gain. Chris, textbook job by the defense surrounding the runner and preventing that play from being bounced to the outside. So it's third and long from the 29. Defense figures to bring pressure here. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Oh, a sack, the senior on this defense making a big play. Well, that's the one thing about a guy that always feels that he can rely on his legs. He's always trying to make a play, and this time he just wasn't able to get away from the defense, and that is a big loss for the offense. The Longhorns will line up to punt it away. Running it back, it's Evans. And the returner brought down by that coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? 
They bring him down just short of the marker, inches away from a first down. Love those positive yards on first and 10, and it's not quite a first down. Looks like it'll raise second and inches, but it sure does open up the playbook here to be able to open up, maybe take a shot downfield. Second down after that previous play. Looking downfield, it's back. Short connection to the tight end here. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. Good job of reading the blitz here by the quarterback. And it doesn't matter where it's coming from. The tight end knows that they've become a big part of the passing game because they should be an outlet. Anytime you see that kind of pressure, those extra bodies are starting to come after the quarterback. Quarterback's going to turn and get the ball out of his hands quickly, this time to the tight end for the first down. Pressure is coming. Locates the tight end. It's complete. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This offense really threatening now. Well, this is what coaches love to see. A quarterback with the ability to read the defense properly and then just get it to the open man. Sometimes it sounds simple, but it's tough to execute. This time we have good recognition by the quarterback. Then he gets it down to the tight end. You can see what he can do after the catch. Georgia setting up with a first and 10 now. Off the play fake, looking to throw. But they can't make the connection. Ball's incomplete. Second down play coming up. Ball handed off. Going to try to run inside, but nowhere to go. Well, the defensive line does their job eating up those double teams, freeing up the backers to make the play. Now it's third and short in the 24. One of those line of scrimmage battles that could help decide this game. Dropping back, looking to throw for the first down. Running back grabs it on a screen. And they'll bring him down. The defense fought through the blocks, and they stop him short of the first down. Now there's just nothing here for the quarterback to do other than throw it to his back and hope that he can get the yards after the catch, enough for the first down. But the defense gives some yards, but not enough for him to get to the sticks. So the decision is to not go for it, but sell for three. Here comes the field goal team. The kick is good. Offense collects three points on the drive. It breaks the scoreless tie here, makes it 3-0. Well, Chris, it's a nice kick here to polish off that drive with at least three points up on the board. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. Fields it just outside the goal line. Returner tackled right there. That's where they'll start the drive. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out. So looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. He's hit as he throws it. It's incomplete. He was hit as he threw. Good pass rush there on first down. Well, I love to see this quarterback sit in there and take the hit. But, man, he's got to do a better job of recognizing where to go with the ball and just throw it away. You can't throw it into double coverage. Offense lines up for a second down play off the incompletion. They'll hand it off. A crucial eight-yard game sets up a makeable third and two. to the marker they make the stop just short of the marker it's going to be fourth down and inches to go the Longhorns will line up to punt it away and he'll kick it away now for the second time
And the return man decides to signal fair catch. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They'd love to stretch the lead here with a touchdown. That has settled for three last time. A gain of two yards. Now it's second down and eight. back it's back to screen pass complete to the running back they're finally able to stop him but the defense is fooled a bit on that screen play it's a solid gain for a first down boy this is great execution here on this screen play to the running back to pick up big yards in a first down i think in a process chris they send a message to the defense you can rush our quarterback all you want but when you do you better be careful because we're going to throw the screen on you first down we're going to throw the ball Makes a quick grab. They get him down, but the game moves the ball to the 37. That's a nice pick up there. They find some space in the zone and pick up the first down. Yeah, really nice call here, Chris, to be able to pick up this first down on this drag route. The quarterback does a nice job of being patient, waiting for that window to open up in that zone, and he put it right on the money for the receiver to have a chance to not just catch it, but eventually get the first. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. Just a small game, looking at second and nine. Receiver in motion now. They're back looking to pass here on second down. Running back has it on the screen now. Defense shoves him out of bounds. Not much of a game there. You can see what the offense is trying to do here with this screen play, but they avoid disaster by at least getting a few positive yards. The defense doing a great job of anticipating the screen here. That completion sets up an important third down play. Fakes the handoff, looking to throw. He'll take a deep shot here. And the pass is intercepted. A takeaway for the defense. And he'll be taken down, but after a good return. He didn't really seem to feel like he had anybody open. He just puts it up in the air, and the defense says, thank you, we'll take it. offense takes the field last time was a quick three and out can they get a drive going this time using the ground game here tailback has the handoff oh what a move to break into the clear now it's second down here The throw it's yours that one falls incomplete looking for a flag doesn't get it brings up third down you get a tight end like this and you know he's used to dishing out the punishment but here he's the one that has to absorb the contact and as a result he's unable to hold on to the football time for one more play here in the quarter on third down he drops to throw caught over the middle it's Bond and they finally make the stop, but a huge gain. Moves the ball into enemy territory down at the 49. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. Let's check out the stats now through the opening period. Plenty of time for some plot twists here as we begin the second quarter. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. 
Boy, great job here by this defensive lineman from Georgia using his hands and his speed to close in on the quarterback and come up with his sack. And, man, they've had some great ones over the years, Chris, as you know, starting with our guy, David Pollock, who had as good a career in his time in Athens as anybody who's ever put on that uniform. Richard Seymour, a brilliant career with the Patriots, but it all started in Athens. Jalen Carter, just an enforcer up front. And I even throw in Geno Atkins, who had a great career in the interior of that Georgia defensive line. Out of the shotgun, he'll hand it off. Tackle finally made. That's a very solid gain, but not close to first down yard yet. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Drops back, looking to throw for it on third down. Fires it to the wide out. Works downfield and finds a receiver who worked his way wide open. They tackle him at the three, but that's a great gain on the pitch and catch. What a nice job here by this offense, creating an opportunity for this receiver to excel after the catch. It's early in this game, so this defense better get their arms around this receiver because he could be a monster today. Longhorns pick up enough yards to move the sticks. On the ground, trying to power toward the goal line. Fights his way into the end zone. Touchdown, Longhorns. Boy, as a defensive coordinator, you've got to be careful being so worried about this pass game and this quarterback that you're a little bit soft up front, and it costs you. That's exactly what happened here as they score this touchdown. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT makes the score 7 3. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. He'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They had some good things going on the last drive, but it ended suddenly with the pick. Let's see what they can do here. It's exactly what you want to see as a play caller. You get positive yards to be able to kind of keep you on schedule as a play caller. That's all you can ask for. Good job up front and a nice run. Important second down play coming up. From the shotgun now, here's a handoff inside. Catch made, but the defense gobbles him up for just a short gain. Offense needing to keep this drive alive. It's a third down play. Looking to pass, it's back. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. Well, that's an incompletion. That'll bring up fourth down. And makes you wonder if the offensive coordinator is reevaluating. Maybe a run there might have been the safer call. The Dodge will bring their punt team onto the field. They're going to kick it away for the second time. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. Let's see if he can keep that passing game going. The last position, very efficient and precise. Grab behind the line. It's Bolden. Defense reacts quickly. A very short gain on the play. 
This is an example of a quarterback and his offense just taking what the defense gives you. Not a huge play, but positive yards. The defense wants to give that throw to you. You take it, get the ball to your receiver, stay ahead of the sticks. Second down play coming up for this offense. But go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, they don't block the defensive end. It shows some quickness, Kirk, getting around the edge that time. Yeah, this guy's usually getting around the edge to put pressure on the quarterback, but he reminds everybody here that this guy's a complete package. Not only can he pressure the quarterback, but also he is very, very talented and shows you the physicality he has against the run as well. But they don't connect. It's incomplete, and it brings up fourth down. Well, they go to the air to try to pick up this first down, but it just wasn't meant to be. Defense was ready, made sure to force them into this fourth down situation. The Longhorns will send their punt team onto the field. And the returner decides to signal fair catch. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? They start the drive with a quick throw to the right side. Love the timing here between the quarterback and his receiver. Pick up some positive yards, and I continue to be impressed with just the, the chemistry between these two. Second down after that run on the previous play. And the wideout goes in motion. From the shotgun, it's a handoff. That's a nice wrap up there by the junior. So ball at the 30. This is a manageable third down play for the offense. To throw, it's back. Looking for his big tight end. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Man, on your own side of the field, you're playing a risky game here, third and short. Your goal should just be keep this drive alive the best way you can sometimes is just hand the ball off to your running back and have him get behind that offensive line and go to work. Curious to see what they do now here on this fourth and short. And on fourth down, the punter sends it away. The fair catch made at the 25-yard line. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. On first down, it's play action. Grab behind the line. It's fun. They bring down the receiver, but that's a nice gain on that play. Just a good job here by the quarterback. Got the ball out to his receiver. His guy eats up some yards. They stay ahead of the sticks. That completion sets up a second down play. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Trying to find some room. It's blue. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Man, every defensive coordinator will tell you, I just want my guys to play fast. And how about that one right there? He almost ends up tackling the quarterback as he's handing the ball off. This offense is lucky they didn't end up fumbling. Important third down play coming up. And the quarterback looking to make a play through the air. It's intercepted. Tried to fire it into a tight window. I'm going to give the defensive coordinator a tip of the cap here. Well, they went with dime coverage with six defensive backs, which gives them a lot more speed on the field. And with those defensive backs, they're able to play better in space. They recognize the ball, step in front of it for a nice interception. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field are coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. Catch made on the out route. Man heads out of bounds after a decent game. These undersized slot receivers can be some of the toughest guys to contain for a defense. 
They're quicker than they really are fast, and they're very elusive, tough to contain in these one-on-one -on -one matchups. The game makes it second and medium. And here's the handoff. He's brought down, but the game moves the ball to the 39. What great patience and acceleration to be able to pick up this first down by this back from Georgia. You think of Georgia backs, you think about Herschel Walker right away, right? Sonny Michelle, Todd Gurley, Nick Chubb, Noshawn Marino. I mean, the list goes on and on of great Georgia backs. It's a first and ten play coming up for the offense. He's swarmed by the defense. Offense getting set. Second down play here. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Throws it to the right. And he's got his bad. Open downfield. Tackle is made at the eight-yard line. It'll be first and goal right there. That's the two-minute warning here before halftime as the offense tries to cut into this lead. First and goal. Great chance to take the lead before halftime. To the air. It's back. Looking to the end zone. And he's got it. Touchdown, dogs. Well, that's a thing of beauty right there. Good job all around. Offensive line gave the quarterback enough time. Quarterback puts it right on the money. And with this receiver running a route like this, makes it pretty simple. All he had to do was get his head turned around, catch that football. He's already in the end zone for the touchdown. And they'll set up now for the extra point try. BAT is good, so the score is 10 7 now. Here's the kickoff team now, set to boot this one away. Turner trying to create good field position. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. If they want to cut into this lead before halftime, they have to work quickly now. And looking to throw now on first down. Looks downfield and connects with a wide open wide receiver. And that will pick up a first down, a spot of the 38. Well, you can tell the quarterback knew exactly what he wanted to do with the football. He was going to that end route no matter what. He hits it for a nice game. We'll get to the line here in the no huddle. On first and ten here, looking to throw the ball. And he's going to fling it deep, going for it all here. And it's picked off in the end zone. He's got some room and some blockers here. And look at the return after the interception. Sets the offense up in good shape. Chris, it feels like to me the offense is being really cautious. The defenders are just sitting back there almost playing backyard football, knowing the offense is being a little bit more conservative. Eyes on the football, stepped in front of it, and makes the pick. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Great possession last time. They punch it into the end zone. Can the defense come up with a stop this time? The short completion of the tight end. Tackled quickly after the catch, he'll be short of the marker. Boy, that's pretty good coverage here by this defense. Not much of a window to throw this ball into, but the quarterback's accuracy and the size of the tight end picks up a nice game. The completion makes it second down. It's a throw. It's back. Couldn't find anybody open and just has to throw it away. After the incompletion, they'll line up now for a third and five. And the quarterback drops back, looking for an open man. Looking to set up a screen pass here. 
It's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. What a nice find there by the quarterback on third down. One of the most telling stats for me at the end of the game is how you do on third down. Being a good third down team is invaluable to your team's offensive success. That's why you drill it so much in practice. First down, looking to throw the football. Finds a receiver wide open. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. Man, that is a big play by this offense. Now they move the ball into the red zone. And if you're the defensive coordinator, you better be ready because the momentum that they've created, they're probably going to take a shot to the end zone right here. Here comes a throw from the red zone. And he finds his tight end for the catch. Tackle made after the completion. And the offense will now quickly spend a timeout. And there's the tight end who shows off his hands. Here's the second down play. Quarterback drops back from the shotgun looking for a receiver. And it's incomplete. The defensive pressure affected his throw that time. And this quarterback is a stud. I, I looked at him all week and thought he had a chance to light up the scoreboard. But if the defense can put that kind of pressure on him, that's how you slow him down today. And the crowd coming to life here trying to help this defense down in the red zone. Defense is coming after him. Can't hold on. Good defensive play brings up a fourth down. Boy, Chris, this drive looked outstanding until they got into the red zone. Seems like the wheels have come off. Third down and long makes it very tough to execute in the red zone. Now, let's see what they come up with here on this fourth down play. So here comes the kicking team on the field. They'll settle for three. And he knocks that one right through. Snap, the hold, the kick, everything there perfect to put three points up here for the offense. So they settled for three, and now the kickoff. We'll see if the opposing offense has enough time to answer before halftime. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's where the drive will start. So they start the drive looking for some late fireworks here, less than 30 seconds before halftime. Here comes a the handoff. They'll tackle him right at the 25-yard line. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Thanks, guys. Looks like we've got a superb matchup in Austin today. And I get it. A lot of coaches will say the difference between winning and losing comes down to stopping big plays and getting big plays. But if you ask me, it's more about how good you are on third down and how efficient you are in keeping drives alive. Those two stats can help you break the will of even the best defenses and help you come out on top. That said, let's get back to the field and our guys in the booth to start the second half. The Bulldogs will kick it off to begin the second half. And here's the return from inside the five. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. Looking to throw it on first down. Oh, and it's dropped by an excellent defensive player. A chance at a takeaway. Got away from him. Don't see that off. Pretty nice catch here, but a missed opportunity for an interception. Let's face it, a lot of these defenders, they've got it all. Speed, athleticism, but hands, sometimes a little questionable, as we saw here. Caught behind the line. It's golden. 
And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Well, any time an offensive coordinator calls a wide receiver screen, he's trying to get offensive linemen out in front of the receiver to create a wall so that receiver can pick a lane to run through. How about the defense here, though? That's called team pursuit and swarming to the football. They didn't give him any lanes, so not much yards downfield for the receiver. Cannot connect. Incomplete and now fourth down. Great job by this defense once again on that third down. And now we get to fourth down. And you start to think about things here as we get into the second half, Chris. I don't, you go for it. You make it. Everybody's happy. If you go for it on fourth down and you don't get it, now you're giving your opponent the football in pretty good field position. No kick it away here. Oh, he's got a crease here. Look out. And the returner is tackled by this punt coverage team. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. This has been a struggle so far for both offenses. Can they finally get something going here? Grab down the middle. It's Bell. They get him down, but not before he gets to the plus 38. Just a really good ball here to be able to pick up this first down for the Georgia offense. And, you know, being able to have a balanced attack, so important in modern college football. And Georgia does that as well as anybody. This line getting set up. It's a first down play. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Let's it go quickly. Oh, and he dropped it. Very uncharacteristic play by this wide receiver. Second down. We know it's not an easy job to go out and catch passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass you've got to have to come up with and make a catch. Incompletion sets up a second down. From the shotgun, handoff inside. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Looking to throw. It's back. The pass rush closing in. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Well, I'll be honest, Chris. I'm really surprised he's trying to get outside like this to try to make a play. He's not the fastest at all. I think he was just desperate to try to come up with a play. And, man, it did not work out. That is a significant loss for the offense. The Bulldogs bring their punt team onto the field. The punt bounces and goes out of bounds right near the 10-yard line. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They're coming off a quick three and out, so looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency. There's a loss after the completion. That's a good play by the defense. This is a great job of being prepared by this defense. Almost anticipating this play, they're in position to bring him down for a loss. Offense getting set. It's second down. Play action fake. Looking to throw. And a senior making a disruptive impact play. Well, if you're going to be able to play in the SEC and be a dominant team, you have to have defensive linemen like this right here. And we've seen that from Georgia over the years. They've been incredibly blessed to have defensive linemen that can hold up against the run, also have the ability to do this right here, which is pressure the quarterback and come up with those sacks. The putter has been very busy so far. Can they finally convert here on third down? And they'll keep it on the ground. Running back has the handoff. Stopped right there at the line. No gain. That was an excellent effort by this defense, just staying in their run fix, holding their own at the line of scrimmage, and then making a tackle. Offense just couldn't get enough of a push to get any yards at all. The Longhorns will have to kick it away. And it's a rough series for the offense, and now he's on to punt it away. And the ball is away from inside the 10. And the coverage team makes the stop on this return. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They were forced to punt it last time. Now they're looking to respond and add to this lead. Looking for some space. It's ETN.
Offense getting set up. Here's second down. Tight end goes in motion. Back to pass. It's back. Caught quickly. They bring him down after a short gain there. Third down play, looking for a fresh set of downs. And the quarterback dropping back. The sure hands, it's ETN. And the runner steps out of bounds, but does have enough yardage to pick up the first down. Most defensive coordinators focus a lot of their energy on how their unit performs on third down and in the red zone. They give up a couple more third down conversions like that, and they're in for a very unpleasant film session on Monday. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Breaking tackles. Tackle made after a solid run by the junior. Nothing better than an offense on first down to be able to pick up big positive yards like that. You can either keep giving it to the back, or it can set up play action and get the defense to come up to the line of scrimmage, and you can throw it over top of them. The dogs are looking to keep this drive going. On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. And he runs it in for the score. Touchdown, Georgia. So the offense flexing here, Kirk, and stretching their lead here in the second half. Yeah, that touchdown gives you a little bit more breathing room, but now it's up to your own defense to help preserve that lead so you can go back out and build onto it in the second half. Now, they'll go for a two-point conversion. The offense with some pre-snap eye candy. Scanning the field, it's back. And he makes the grab, a successful two-point try, and they bump the lead up even more. Kickoff team on the field getting set now. Fields it inside the five-yard line. Makes it to the 16. That's good coverage there. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Looking for some space. It's blue. Shows off the moves there, but ultimately not much of a game. Second down after that run on the previous play. They tackle him. Looks like it's going to be just short of the mark, inches away. down the offense desperately needs a conversion here trailing in the third quarter that one is incomplete the defender was right there and it brings up fourth down now boy third down and short they decide to throw the football roll the dice a bit doesn't work out now you're at fourth and short you got to wonder, with this offensive line and this running back, do you run the football to convert, or do they try to go through the air again? And at fourth down, they'll punt it away here. He's got some daylight turning on the speed. The returner is brought down. Gets a starter in the next drive. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. They were able to punch it in the end zone last time, looking to do the same thing here to see if the defense can make adjustments. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. Things just appear to be a bit out of sync from the get-go on that one. Give credit to the front seven of that defense for staying in the proper lanes and getting to the ball carrier, not let him dance around and make something out of nothing. 
What's the play call here on second down for this offense? Dropping back. It's back. Here's a screen pass to the running back. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. A lot of times this can be a tough play to defend because you're so concerned with getting pressure on the quarterback. But here the defense does a good job of coming off of coverage and chasing down the receiver. Offense been in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Short pass. Finds the tight end. Finding some room with the 25. Touchdown, Bulldogs. This quarterback on fire today. Such a well-designed play here by this offense to find a way to get the ball to the gifted tight end. He's got the size. He's got the speed. He's a difficult matchup. And here he shows he's got the speed to take it all the way into the end zone for that touchdown. And they'll set up for the PAT. And the extra point makes it a 28-7 game. Now the kickoff team is out on the field. Return starts from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? Handoff here from the shotgun. Great move in the open field. Tackled right at the 30. Good enough to move the sticks. Sometimes I almost get mesmerized watching these runners who have great vision. You know, the eyes that carry their feet to the open space, making people miss. I just love watching those guys do work. The guys up front lined up. It's first down. And there's the handoff. They've got him, but he picks up eight yards. Sets up a nice second and two. Great job by the offensive line here, opening up some holes and giving the running back room to run on first down. Plays like this can open up the playbook for the play caller, allow him to make that defense think, are they going to run? Maybe play action, maybe throw the ball downfield. Second down after that run on the previous play. Snags a quick throw. They stop him at the 47, but that's enough for a first down. Well, this is why they want to get his hands on the football as often as possible. We always know about his ability to make plays downfield, but here they just get it to him quick on a wide receiver screen. He shakes the tackle and picks up nice yards. Longhorns will line up on first and ten. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. They'll run it from the gun. And they tackle him, but a nice pickup on that running play. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. So after three quarters of play, it's a pretty solid lead. Let's take a look at our game stats, how we got here. And now entering the final period of play, is there an epic comeback in store? We're going to find out. To the air, it's yours. Quick throw, testing the middle. That's going to be incomplete. A lot of contact. No flag brings up third down. What a hit there by the defender. Tough for the receiver to hold on to the football when he has that kind of contact. Good, clean play by the defense. So off the incompletion, it sets up a third down and three. Looking to pick up the first down through the air. Makes a spectacular diving catch. Tackle is made, but the junior quarterback shows off his arm strength that time. Finally, good for them. They come up with a big play like this. Let's face it, 
Offense has been at a premium for these guys. You wonder where plays like this have been all game long. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Quarterback drops back. We're going to test the secondary. Tries the right with a quick throw. Finds a man downfield. That's a big game to the right. He stopped, but he gets a first down. Now the offense is taking advantage of the defense kind of sitting back with this lead. That's back-to-back -back plays of big yards. You know, it's a bend-but-don't-break mentality from this defense, but they might want to reevaluate because this offense is moving the ball too quickly down the field. Snapping it from the red zone now, looking to throw. Caught over the middle. It's Bolden. Tackled at the two after the completion. The defense really up against it now. Quarterback sees that this defense is dropping way back in zone coverage, so he does the right thing. Gets it underneath to that drag route and picks up a first down. The Longhorns looking to cap the drive here. It's first and goal. On the ground, trying to muscle it across the line. Did well to avoid a loss there, but it's no gain on the play. Well, they keep trying to run the football, and they keep getting dominated at the line of scrimmage. That has been a theme throughout this entire game. We've talked about it earlier in the game. It's not changing at all. They've become one-dimensional, and I think it's allowed this defense to really lock in on that quarterback. Here's a run to the left, looking for the touchdown. He powers into the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. Man, that's another touchdown for this guy. This defense better adjust and get eyes into that backfield, or he may go for a third or a fourth later today. Now here comes the point after attempt. The extra point is good. Still a two touchdown deficit, 28-14. There's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. And he takes this from inside the five. Solid job by the coverage team. They bring him down at the 16. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. This group has been clicking. They've really built momentum. Can the defense make adjustments? Come up with a stop here. Play action here on first down. Throws it to the right. Finds a man downfield. That's a big gain to the right. They bring him down, but an explosive play by this offense. Big gain. I mean, Chris, look at this guy. I mean, you talk about having a great day throwing the football and leading his team to a nice, comfortable lead late in the game, and it continues. The coach is showing confidence of what he can do. One play moves the ball to the 44. It'll be first down. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Looking for his big tight end. It's complete. What a grab near the sideline. Heads out of bounds after a solid game, more than enough to pick up a first down. Man, they're already up big in this game, and now they're taking shots downfield. They're just looking to pour it on right now. Still throwing the football in vertical shots to boot. First down here for this offense. He'll hand it off. Oh, what a move. Hey, you got to do what you got to do. You got to rely on that offensive line in the running game here to be able to secure a victory. Good call, and just keep working that clock. A game makes it second and medium. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They'll stop him behind the line for a loss of one. But these obvious running situations are very tough when you're working with the lead late in the game because you know the defense is going to stack the line of scrimmage, make it as difficult as possible for you to run the football. So nice job there by the defense. They're trying to punch that ball out, do anything they can at all to get the ball back. Looking to pass, it's Beck. Fires it to the wide out. Doesn't hold on. Good hit by the DB. Now it brings up fourth down. 
Interesting call here, Chris, to throw the ball on third and short. Unable to come up with a first down. Now here at fourth down, you got a big decision to make. Do you kick the field goal just to add to the lead or maybe go for this here with a chance to drop the hammer? So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. And a chance here to build the lead, make it a three-score game in the final quarter. You missed it. Field goal, no good. The lead remains at 14 after the miss. Well, that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. A poor kicker. The Longhorns offense takes the field. They were clicking last time. Great protection. The pitch and catch was solid. Right down for a touchdown. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. And he's got it. Touchdown, Longhorns. Strong game by this quarterback. That's an important score. We've got one possession game now, Kurt, and it's game on. It's game on, and now it's about this defense coming up with a stop. Everybody in the stadium knows that they're going to run the football and try to melt the clock. So what can your defense do to ensure they don't do that successfully? Now the important point after attempt. PAT is good. They still trail though. Now they get set to kick it away. Fields it just outside the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. A handoff from the shotgun. He moves the ball across the 20 to the 22. Well, let's see how these guys do here. They're kind of in that four-minute offense mode where they're trying to work as much clock as they can on this drive, working with the lead. Still want to be balanced as best you can, but the important thing is picking up first downs, keeping the ball in bounds, and keep working that clock. Dropping back. It's back. Receiver makes the grab. Brought down at the 33. That's good enough to move the sticks. Well, I think the offense lulled the defense to sleep here. Do you think that they're just working the clock here and running the football, and then they throw and surprise you and get some positive yards downfield just to keep this defense honest? You set it down to the offense, first and ten. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. It's a short completion to the big tight end. They're finally able to stop, and the cornerback brings the big man down. Not easy to do with that size difference. Chris, that's another nice pickup through the air. I, I thought they might be really just out to run the football here with the lead. But instead, they're electing to throw the football. Different routes, quarterbacks in rhythm. Really, it's almost an extension of their uh, passing game. Keep it on the ground to work the clock here. They get him down, but the junior with an excellent run there. Boy, is this guy fun to watch or what? Here we are in the fourth quarter, critical down in distances, and this guy is just churning out yards the way he has most of this game, showing a lot of physicality and natural running instincts in space. This Georgia offense is moving quickly down the field. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. Man, I like the run play here, and offensively at this point in the game, you want to remain in that attack mode first while also staying in bounds and working that clock. Getting set. Here's second down. Takes the handoff. It's ETN. Zero running room. Stopped right at the line of scrimmage. One of the biggest plays we've had so far. Third down and the crowd really getting into it. 
We head now to the two-minute warning as this offense tries to bleed out the clock and secure this win. Big third down play. If they can't get the stop, they have to consider calling a timeout. And now they'll run it on the draw. They stop him for a two-yard gain, which will bring up fourth down. And now a timeout taken by the defense, trying to preserve as much clock as possible for their offense. So on fourth down, out trots the place kicker in a very big spot here. Google try, no good. And after the miss, it's still a seven-point lead. Fresh set of downs for the offense, first down. Back to throw, it's yours. Quick completion to the tight end. Football comes out. And the defense has picked up the football going the other way. Breaks loose now into the open field. Breaks clear over the right side. Can they chase him down? Touchdown, dogs. On the scoop and score. Potential momentum shift there. They scoop up the fumble and score on it. Boy, you just got to give credit to this defender for locating the ball, getting his hands on it, and then scooping it and scoring. So often you see guys that just want to go down. This guy realized, hey, I got athletic ability. I can pick it up. I'm going to score myself. Getting set to kick the ball off now. Well, he thought about coming out, but instead takes a knee and to bring the football out to the 25-yard line. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Bringing pressure. And he just throws the ball away there. Nobody open. Excellent coverage. Second down after that previous play. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down and then drops a chance to make a play but said it's third down some players just have a real knack for timing their jump and that defender was able to get a big paw on the ball and bat it away a tough situation for the offense third and long from their 25 let's see if the defense brings some heat here dropping back we're going to throw for the first down just gets it away taking a shot caught way downfield for a huge gain how about this guy making this throw? I mean, they have harassed him all game long, and here we are in the fourth quarter. He takes another hit, and this time gets enough on it to be able to complete it. Great play by the quarterback. First down, clock stops for a moment, but no huddle here. They've got to hurry. Looking to chuck it again. Looking for his back. With the catch, it's blue. And the offense will wisely spend a timeout after the play. Clock management's going to be very important here in the final minutes. Pass caught, second down now. From the shotgun, he's probing the secondary. But they don't make the connection. That one is incomplete. That's a misfire there, Chris. This passing game has got to be able to get into sync and find a rhythm. After the incompletion, they'll come to the line for a third and four. Looking downfield, it's yours. Catch made over the middle. Game moves it to the 24. That's a fresh set of downs. Really good job here of converting by this offense. And let's face it, at this point in the game, because they have such a big hole to climb out of, they've got to be able to convert and come up with a new set of downs. They do it here. Now they got a real shot to cut into this lead. They'll hurry to the line here with the clock running. Second down play coming up. Quarterback drops back. Grab down the middle. It's Bolden.
They get to the line in a hurry here for this third down. And he'll set up to throw. Looking for the wide out. Oh, and he dropped it. You don't see that often from this guy. Brings up fourth down. Well, it's decision time now, Chris. Fourth and short coming up, and you know they're thinking about going for this one. Likely looking at that play sheet and finding the go-to play that'll help them pick up this first down and keep this drive alive. They're thinking six points. Needs a completion here on fourth down. Makes the grab in the end zone. Touchdown, Texas. I'll tell you what, Chris, with this touchdown, it never say never. You know, we, we're under 15 seconds to go, but with that touchdown, at least you've given yourself a chance with an onside kick if you recover it. Who knows? A Hail Mary, maybe you got a chance to win the game. And now the try here for the extra point. PAT up and good to get a little bit closer. They're lining up to attempt an onside kick. And the hand seam able to recover the football. And they'll tackle him for a loss of five yards. So with the lead secure here, it's time to just take a knee, run out the clock, and plan the victory celebration.